Hey there everybody, just going to show you how to make these here kiosks, uh, I'm going to call them open back kiosks because they've got an open back and you can see they're kind of high fronted um, kiosks like food servers, you get a lot of them in the country I'm from anyway where they're sort of, and there's a step on the inside so that the person on the inside is sort of waist high to the serving point and I'm just going to show you how to make these using only offcuts from the H block, hence keeping them all. Don't let anything go to waste, that's the moral of the story. Um, I think good modelling involves making the most of all of the cuts you make. So, this is all the like weird shapes from uh, these are all cut out from the windows in the, uh, the habitation blocks I built, and they form these shapes by themselves. And so, this is just a case of optimising them. I mean, I've had to trim this back to me to give it that slight, slight slope to make it feel like the water would get shed off the backs, which is kind of what you'd want if you had people sat at the front. And I would have high stools for this, but um, I'm not going to make them right now. Uh, if you imagine there was sort of a high stool here, so you'd be sat at the kiosk bar, you could you could eat at the, the um, table, like a bar stool if you like. And um, probably end up having to buy them. Uh, I think they might be too fiddly to be made, or incredibly complicated, or very simple, if I just got a round tube and stuck it on a base and then stuck a round thing on top or a square thing, whatever the hell I felt like but that's by the by, so I'm just going to show you the bits that I've used to make this up so here's all my pieces, uh, these are windows, these are all cut out of the front of the um, habitation block these squares and all of these bits are made out of these squares so that they're all regular but they're like the side windows from the habitation blocks and then the bit on the back, this is actually sort of the complex cut from the central window in the habitation blocks where you've got all the stairwell stuff to be dealt with. And I'll be taking this piece here to make the back, but that's a last minute job because you have to fit this quite carefully. First of all, it's just assembling the bottom, the wall, uh, the front and these two bits, which makes your initial structure. So I'll just get that done and I'll show you the first phase. So you go, that's the core structure built. Uh, it's just the bottom, this wall in the middle and the sides, and this gives you your basic framework for everything else to hang off. Next thing I'm just going to put in um, the bar top. I've already beveled the undersides of the bar, so when it goes in, it'll have like fairly shallow, neat looking edges. Um, also, it just gives it a more built, more sort of table surface like quality and that will just get fitted in so roughly the middle of it is sitting across that line there uh, I'll also at this point put in the roof and this will just finish the structure off so it's solid as it can possibly be so just get that done and I'll show you what it looks like in a second just a little note about putting these on, I mean that's that's the um, top then but uh, one, I pre-beveled the roof, just the leading edge and the back edge two, this square is the same as the square that I've used to make the bottom but it has um, a narrow dimension and a broad dimension um, and so the broad dimension is this way for the roof but for the floor the broad dimension would be this way so this wall and this bottom are the same piece as this but with them being cut from this way along this dimension here along this dimension here being the length of the front of the building so then 20 mil in from that edge I cut that off and that would become well 25 mil sorry and that would become that and then what remained became the floor and the floor is put in so that it's flush with the ground and then that um, 25 mil section is put in so it's flush with the ground as well so that you don't get any visible bottom edging the only place you're going to get visible bottom edging is here when you insert the, the bit which will make the um, open back part and I'll make it mirrored so if you put them back to back um, they block line of sight to one another so that you don't have the gap on the same side if they're facing it there. Uh, yeah, I'll put them the same way around then in fact just to make sure um, they have as optimal line of sight blocking capability so I'm just going to check in um, the steps and the signboard and I will get back to you in a moment. Yeah, so here's the steps then. Just gives you that bit of elevation. 
also the signboard and the signboards are gonna I'm gonna digitally print onto photo paper the signboards and then I'll glue them in place but not until after they're painted. So the next stage is to fit this bit and uh, the reason you leave this intact before doing this is there's actually a slight taper between the top and the bottom of this where it's all slightly forced together and the signboard has to be fitted so it's actually ever so slightly narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. Um, so I'll get this this piece, I'll make it fit in here and that will make the doorway and then it will be ready for painting. So I'll get that done, I'll just show you what it's like before painting and then I'll get on to painting it. So there you go, that's the back in put in, uh, so all there's really left to do is paint them. Um, then they're matched so I put them directly back to back. You can just kind of see you know, just point with a knife here. But they pretty much block each other's um, line of sight entirely. So there's a small gap at the bottom, but you'd have to sort of be stood right up against here looking down and somebody would have to be stood right there in order to sort of see their ankles. And it could in fact be one of the rare occasions where you could see somebody but they couldn't see you, thinking about it. Very rare occasion. So yeah, I'll get these painted. So here you have it, the painted kiosks. Um, my kawaii kiosks, because they're cute. Um, again, all offcuts. Uh, I've just done one red. Uh, they're not finished yet. Um, just painting the roof black. Um, underneath the roof's white, just a what, rough coat. And then the counters I've painted white. And I'm actually going to sit down and produce a whole lot of posters. And I will show you postering these up. Um, so they'll have posters on the sort of the ends here, and um, the sign boards here will have posters. It's just to bring that extra bit of life to them. I mean, I think right now they're table worthy, but I just want those extra bits of polished stuff. So I hope it's been some use to you, and you think that these are a decent piece of scenery for infinity. And I will catch you next time. Cheers, everybody. Have good and take care. Bye bye. <laughs>